Jiu-Jitsu is a simple, straightforward, practical representation of the way. If you think about what it, what Jiu-Jitsu has in it, right? It has offense, it has defense, it has flanking, it has conservation of energy. It has deception. It has attack. It has concentration of effort. Now, everything I just said, you could use that for combat, for tactical situations. You could also use it in business. You could use it in interactions with other human beings. And there's psychological elements inside of jujitsu as well that are reflected. Humility. You're gonna get humbled by jujitsu. At the same time, dichotomy, you're gonna gain confidence. You're gonna know where you actually stand. As I trained jujitsu and I garnered a better understanding of jujitsu, I started to have a better understanding of the way. You're going to have ups and downs in your life. Things are going to go wrong. You're going to lose business. You're going to lose jobs. You're going to break up. Things are going to go wrong. And what you do is you keep moving forward. No matter what happens, you keep moving forward. And so, jujitsu is representative of life. If you stay humble and you stay on the path, you will end up achieving your goals. That will happen. Behold! There's going to be a little bit of tugging and, you know, pulling to get these things to line up. All right, it's vinyl; it expands and contracts. Um, yeah, and and the best way to do it is, is you get the first one down, and then you unroll the next one, and then everybody grabs the Velcro. So you want to actually be grabbing the flappy edge, and you get on your knees and you pull it like this. Nate and Nick. You guys disassembled the on the top. You guys disassembled the thing, so can you guys come reassemble that? <laughs> Didn't they put them in the kitchen area or something last time? Where was that? They put all the junk away too. Yes. That's probably where. Here. How I do we get there from here? I can't remember. Up there to the right. Okay. Champ. Right <laughs> 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 right by the back. Right, we got crawdads. Yeah, side. exactly. We got little tiny crawdads. Yeah. Those are black belt crawdads. Right there. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> 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 yeah. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, children of all ages, I can have your attention, please. I don't know if you guys saw me in my bright blue shirt. My eyes look so pretty. If you have it, what's up, you winners? My name is Travis Hill. I live locally here in Maine. And I want to welcome you, if you're not from this state, to the state of Maine. I want to show you a token of my appreciation. Let me know we've helped over 200 families this year, and it's going to keep going forward and forward. So, ladies and gentlemen, if you can join me one more time for Hump Clock, this is John Hump Clock. Thank you. 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 Thank This is our second factory, all right? So, our first factory was out in the woods. Um, we, we started cutting down trees, it was 2012, right? There's 50 people in this factory working, and we're just getting started. So, just a little bit, you hear Pete talking about expand this, grow that, expand this. Just so everyone knows, when, I, when we started joining forces two years ago, and I came to the factory for the first time when we were at Fort podcast, when I walked in, this place 
It was almost empty. It was basically with a few machines. There was a couple piles of keys being sold. But it was basically an empty shell. And beyond an empty shell, what it was, was it was a vision. It was a vision of what it was going to be and what it was going to become. So when we talk about growing this and growing that, it's not just talk. This is what we're actually going to do. And when we came in, we set up a table right there in the corner of the podcast number 93. And I remember sitting there looking at that same American flag that's up there right now. And I knew at that time, we were not just going to fill this factory. We were going to fill factory upon factory and bring this business back to America. Where is it supposed to be? The rules are, well, it originally started that Pete said that he could flip me over his head. And I said, no, absolutely not. And then we came into some time restraints. So if Pete flips me directly over his head one time within 10 minutes, he wins. Or if he sweeps me seven times within those 10 minutes, he wins. He'll get some sweeps. It will not be over his head and it won't be seven. I think that JP has a little bit of an advantage because the rules, I think the rules support JP. Sweeping someone seven times in 10 minutes or getting a very dynamic overhead sweep is very hard, but Pete's a black belt and that's, that's what black belts do. Huh. I didn't know the clown show was in town already. <laughs> yeah, just step through there. <laughs> Please hurt yourself. <laughs> you know what happened was we were training the other day and he's like, I looked behind me to check. He goes, oh, bro, don't worry about that. You're not sweeping me over your head. And I said, really, really? And so, I don't know, there was a few minutes left and I, I was trying, 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 trying. And then I got him loaded up and guess what he did? He dropped to his side and laid down like a fish. So this is where everything started. We'll see where it's gonna end. I might double down. Double down for, for Mama Lee. 2000 maybe? JP? You have a double down? <laughs> For Mama Lee? $2,500. $2,500 to Mama Lee. Yeah. I like that. Shake it up, boys. I feel a little weak. <laughs> yeah? I thought your grip would be that's, stronger. That's <laughs> hey, remember, look him in the eyes so he turns away. <laughs> I win. He looked away. <laughs> hey, you know, uh, one more thing. Take a seat just for a second. Just take a seat. Um, you know, the, the path of jujitsu is hard. It's a hard path. And you go ups and downs. And there's times where you gotta work, and there's times where you get injured, and there's times where you just get mentally defeated, and you feel like you don't wanna do this anymore. And those days go on and on. And if you do the right thing, if you stay on the path, over time, you move forward on that path. You move forward on that path if you keep your nose to grind to stone. You move forward on that path if you have the humility to say, you know what, I still have more to learn. You move forward on that path. And it's the same way it works with life. The same way it works with life. You're gonna have ups and downs in your life. Things are gonna go wrong. You're gonna lose businesses, you're gonna lose jobs, you're gonna break up. Things are gonna go wrong. And what you do is you keep moving forward. No matter what happens, you keep moving forward. And so, jujitsu is representative of life. If you stay humble, and you stay on the path, you will end up achieving your goals. That will happen. And it's gonna to happen tonight for one of my friends. Echo Charles. Oh. Yeah.
not to focus on the belt or whatever and it's like a like a trap when you focus on the belt and it seemed like anytime I focused on the belt like it would get worse like jujitsu would kind of suck you know and then counting today like if you don't focus on the belt then it seems to like you get a belt you know, it's <laughs> I just got a briefing on the rules. I I think I gotta go with Pete. He looks he looks a little amped up. I I think he's like 280 today. 250, 249. Yeah, yeah. Just so the rules are clear, so it's either seven sweeps or transitions, collar drags, arm drags, whatever it is, right? So seven sweeps slash reversals or one over the top. He's got it on the buzzer. It is on! Come on, people, cheer for it. Right? Yeah. 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 Yeah.
What is wow. jiu-jitsu? How oh, do champion, you, you got you got to say what is jiu-jitsu How now. do you, I have a question for you. How would you define jiu-jitsu? As no idea. That's a very tough question. I define as a greatest martial arts ever invented. It's amazing for uh, self-defense. It's great sport, good for your mind, and I, yeah, mind, body, and is a yeah. physical, sweaty chess game. Exactly. Move, move. This is so hard. This is so hard. <laughs>